Welcome back. Here we are at CFO again. So today's workout is it's a classic descending rep scheme chipper. We've got some runs, some dot hops, some sit-ups, and some push-ups. Okay, right off the bat, this thing has a 30-minute cap, but you guys shouldn't be taking longer than 25. Um, so within that time frame, also it's you're keeping track of the number of runs because every three minutes in this you're running 200 okay and that actually starts at three two one go take off run 200 then you come back in working your way through the the dot hops the sit-ups and the push-ups okay the, this is a very front-loaded workout so your first two rounds of the chipper are 100 dot hops 50 sit-ups 25 push-ups and then it's 80 dot hops 40 sit-ups 20 push-ups so almost the majority of the reps happen in those first two rounds uh, not just almost, the overwhelming majority of the reps happen o on those first two rounds. So you really want to uh, make a, a really good effort right here at the beginning because it will speed up at the end in order to hit that time frame. Overall time frame we're looking for is 15 to 25 minutes. And if you're keeping track of your runs, you shouldn't be doing any more than eight 200 meter runs, okay? It's probably like six, seven is the sweet spot. Also do note, that these, these 200 meter runs, they're intended to be one minute run pieces or less, okay? So really this is like a two minute on, one minute off chipper, starting with all that stuff, okay? The one minute off is your, I guess we could say one minute on, two minute, one, two minutes on, one minute off, I'm butchering this. All right guys, so um, what we wanna think about, as usual, uh, these are, uh, ab mat sit-ups if you have them, anchored sit-ups if you don't, make sure you use that whole body, totally fine to be throwing those arms, but do finish in that good vertical position when you're at the top. So we don't want to see that rounded forward where you're kind of like this. We want to see you finishing tall and straight like so. So it looks like so, ab yeah, mat sit-up coming up just like so, nice and straight and vertical, okay? As you're running also, we want again, once again, broken record, we want to think about ball of foot. So we're transferring that force, ball of foot, opposite hand, opposite um, leg moving together. And we're going to think about kissing the heel to the ground. We don't want to do this thing where we reach out, strike that heel, and then come up. Not only is it not an efficient way to run, it's going to beat your body up too, okay? So, everything else, push-ups, we want to think about, we did a lot of practice in, in the warm-up, want to think about that great setup, that nice tight position, and keeping everything locked in, it'll be way more efficient, glutes, quads, abdominals, touch that chest down. If you don't have big numbers of push-ups, we can either um, do some knee push-ups, we can go to a higher target, like a box. Um, you should be able to get through those push-ups, the 25 and the 20, in no more than two sets, okay? So set of 15, set of 10, set of 10 and 10, stuff like that. So you want to, another way that you can manage this is to just cut the reps, okay? So 15 to 25 minutes, no more than eight runs, should be about six to seven runs by the time it's done. That'll get, get you in that time range that we're looking for. Um, have fun with the guys. Do remember that it's heavily front-loaded. So don't get discouraged in the beginning. You might not, I didn't, you might not get through the whole piece, the 100, the 50, and the 25 in that first two minutes. I didn't, but it, um, it picks up after that. Have fun with it. I liked it. Bye, guys.